Hey guys, Eric with FNI Outdoors. Um, it is opening day of Indiana, April 22nd, 2015. About uh, 10 30 in the morning, maybe a little bit later than that. Um, got a late start today for opening day. The wind was blowing terrible this morning. It was cold and rainy. Uh, the high today is only supposed to be about 50. Uh, rainy and we had real heavy winds in a front come through yesterday uh, 40 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts so I don't know how the birds are going to be acting today um, haven't heard anything this morning yet I did talk to uh, a guy as I walked into the woods uh, him and his son had been out in a different location had taken a 20 pound bird this morning already uh, so uh, sounds like they're out moving around they're just not where we're at right this second so we're going to keep it posted hopefully we'll get this hunt on tape uh, I've got my son with me today Nathan uh, and he is uh, trying to get his first bird um, ever, uh, 15 years old out here in the woods. Uh, his sister's gotten a couple already, but Nathan's looking for his first. Uh, we're right now set up in a, uh, on a little bit of a ridge uh, above a field. And from what I've gathered from my scouting and talking to people, um, they hang down in these fields. Uh, and then they pull back up in here later on in the day for roosting this evening. Uh, maybe a long day for us. We may wait until see if we roost tonight. A bird, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, I've made some calls. Nothing's going on right now. So we're going to keep at it, and hopefully we'll be able to share a uh, exciting uh, Lawrence County, Indiana hunt uh, on opening uh, day. Are you on that one? Don't shoot yet. Nathan, there's three of them, don't move. There's three of them, right? Do you see them? Are you on them? Huh? Okay. Hang tight, don't move yet. All right, listen to me. Don't do anything yet. I can't see how big they are. Are there jakes? Okay, take one on the left if you want to take that one on the left. By himself over there, do you see him? Okay, don't shoot. If you want one of them, shoot one of them. Don't shoot them both though. The one on the right by itself. Okay, go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. Put your gun down, go get it. Put your gun down, go get it. Go step on its head. Go step on its head, bub. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Well, we have got a turkey down, boys, in Lawrence County, Indiana. He got him with Jake. He's not a big one, but he's a good bird. Just step on his head there for a little bit. I'm shaking. Are you shaking? Yeah. How exciting is this, pal? Very exciting. Was that not cool watching those birds come in? Yes. So, at what point did you see him? Tell me about it. Uh, they are about... I don't know, about 50 yards that way. Yeah. I saw all three of them coming in. Did you see him before I said something or did you see no, him right I saw him after you said something. Okay. All right. Just keep stepping on him there. It'll be all right. That all gun right. did not hurt at all. I you don't, you can't, it. you don't feel it when you got that going through you, do you, pal? All right. So uh, they came in in a group of three. Um, I couldn't see which one you were shooting at, so I'm not sure which one was the biggest one. We both pulled our guns up to shoot, but we realized they were Jake's. But we had talked earlier, and Nathan had said that if it was a Jake or a Tom, he was taking it. Matter of fact, he said Bearded Hen was even fair game for him this morning. Um, so, bud, you got your first turkey, man. Yeah. Congratulations, pal. Very I can't. I can't. It's <laughs> awesome. Ow. Are you pumped? Yes, I am. Give me a little fist pump again. <laughs> All right.
we'll take some pictures of the bird here just shortly. Well, we wrapped up uh, our opening day hunt here today in Indiana, um, Lawrence County, down around Bedford, Bloomington area, Old Lytic. Uh, got uh, got some property down here. We've gotten permission to hunt. Uh, Nathan capped off a beautiful hunt this morning. It was a silent hunt. Uh, made a lot of calls. Uh, windy day. Uh, the, the trees are making a lot of noise, so we couldn't really hear any gobbling. I, I heard one sound today that I thought was a gobble, uh, probably about. 10 minutes or 15 minutes before uh, his birds came in. And, and as we were looking, they were probably about 80 or 90 yards out when we first saw them. Uh, I saw heads moving through the trees and I thought, I had earlier thought I'd saw some movement, but I couldn't pinpoint what it was. And then all of a sudden I could see these three periscoping heads popping up and looking at us. And um, so I told Nathan, I said, Nathan, I think there's, a, I said, there's birds coming. And uh, I'm not sure, did you see him at that point or had you already seen him? I didn't see him for a couple steps because the tree was in okay, my Okay, you didn't see him for a couple steps until after I pointed him out to you. Okay, all right. So we're using uh, some box calls today, uh, using FNI uh, pot calls, uh, mouth calls. Uh, and, and as they started coming in, um, they had a pretty good view of us, really. I was kind of surprised that they looked right at us a couple of times, and I, I got a little nervous. Uh, but I was able to use uh, my uh, FNI mouth call, the RIT, uh, which is a four-read cutter-style call. Uh, dark green tape, you can find it on the website uh, at fniouttoors.com. Uh, 